Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Now this is a clip from our recent winter camp uh, featuring Mark Stewart Sheehan, ex-world champion and a very, very experienced 50-year karate and boxing and taekwondo man. Now one of my bugbears with traditional Aikido training is the way in which we strike and the way that uh, Yokoman and Shomenuchi uh, replace realistic attacks. Now this was a fabulous session, um, but the thing that really hit home to me and hopefully to the group that was present was the, the first words that came out of his mouth with regards to striking. As always, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, consider smashing and uh, subscribing and uh, enjoy the clip. Um, what we'll do is some, just some basic strike and moving. Um, just to get you warmed up and, and getting the flow because all weekend you know when we've had um, throw a strike it's sort of been like, like this or you know and I don't know about you guys but I've never seen anyone in the street do that ever and it's very very seldom you'd ever see somebody apart from the apart from the jabbing hand stepping off with that so you know not many people do this and stand there right you know, when someone punches, bam, it's back at the, you know, you, you don't have that time to stand there and do all these things, right? But you can get in a position to do it, right? So what I want to do is just, we'll just get in a thing, I'll, I'll work on our fighting stance. Um, everything we do, we try and make it natural movement. We don't want to do a forced movement. If, the, if I stand like this and I feel comfortable, that's my natural position. Of course, I can sink my... I sink my centre through my knees, there's no weight on my heels even though they're touching. So now I'm ready to move either way, side to side, that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, we'll go left leg forward for everybody, just so it's a bit easy. Um, I just want you to basically let your weight fall forward and there's your step. Okay, and then just sit down on the knee a little bit. I'll go this way. And what we don't want to do is be upright, because if someone attacks me quickly now, I'm going that way. I want to just tilt my hip. So I'm 15 degrees forward now through the back, right? So now I can go forward and go back and do my side movement easier. With the hands, what we're going to do is bring it up near the temples, relax the elbows, and as they come down, so does the chin, because our chin's up, we get knocked out. So the chin's there, we're looking through our hands. Now, uh, Marcus. On this way, if I'm closed off this way, he's going to attack from the outside. He's going to come try and attack me from the outside, which is really dangerous because he's got that one as well. Even if he just throws a normal uh, wild hook, he wouldn't step through with it, just wild hook there. I, I can block that, but I've got this as well. He's quicker than me, right? If I open my arms a little bit, that invites him to come in straight in, right? So when he comes straight in now, it's easy to get to the back where it's harder for him to hit me back, yeah? Make sense? Also, because I'm relaxed here, I'm not like, I want to relax here. If he kicks, my elbows are just there. I don't have to do any movements. Obviously, if he's a Thai boxer or something, I'm not going to stand there and let him kick me. I'm going to move uh, with it, right? But here I'm just fairly, fairly protected and, and anything is right there. Okay, and then when I drop this down, I lift this heel, and I imagine I'm, I've got a pole through my body. So I've got to come around the, the pole. I don't want to do this, because as you know, your center's gone, right? So we want to rotate. So we're going to come in one, two, and back. And then it's just relax here, back, and back. Just have a little. So the hips are slightly tilted, but I'm coming around that pole always, because, uh, yes. say, I, say I throw the right, and he moves his head off to the side there, if I've done that, I'm committed, and then you guys are going to break my wrist, right, grab me and break my wrist, but if I rotate and, he miss, and I miss him here, I can just come straight back with the hook, you see? When I miss here, my, I haven't dropped my centre, but I have missed them, but this one's coming straight back here. Yeah? So what I want you to do is make sure you're not doing this. Keep up right, rotate, and now pull this one back to the air, and turn this one, 
and this one comes over the top, short hook there, one, two, hook there, and then back to your center spot, yeah? Okay. So.